Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing an unboxing. I have here the Gal Studio Magnetic Master 2.0. I am excited for this. Um, it looks like a really cool kind of haptic coin. Um, whatever. God, there's so much tape. They like taped the hell out of this thing. Um, so yeah, the Magnetic Master 2.0. It looks like you can do a lot of cool stuff with this thing. Um, so I am really excited. Um, yeah. Let's get right to it. studio. Let us pull this spell. It comes with two maybe ceramic Let's see. I don't know what kind of material. What is this material? Might be ceramic. Plastic? Plastic, maybe? Too plastic. And it comes with the magnets and the uh, steel balls. Here we go. Magnetic Master. So this is the inside, part of the inside. Ah, wait, before we do that, let's get the uh, measurements and stuff first. It's so tiny. I love that it's got two parts. So you got the top that you can move. And then this other part, the second top, I guess, the side. Although, 
It's a little bit difficult to move the top without moving the uh, the second part. Like, like say you want to move. I guess you got to hold it still and then spin the top. Because if you don't, then you can move the, the uh, side part accidentally. All right, so let us get the weight. It's about 28 grams. And it is it's almost 37 millimeters. by almost 12 millimeters. Oh wait, I am reading that wrong. That's 11.5. That's not a nine. I'm blind. Okay, now. screw, which loosens the top. So you can then remove, looks like these are, these are the ceramic balls. Get the tweezers, just in case. So this is the inside and the ceramic balls were on there. So now we can, well, the easiest thing to be would, the easiest thing and the fastest would be to just like put these larger ones on. Where do they go? Because it doesn't... You know, it doesn't close with these large ones. So what exactly are they for? Like I want to use them. I do not know.
No, they're different. Anyway. You know, I forget how ma how annoying magnets can be. with the top does nothing. Well, the side sounds cool. But I forgot to put stuff in the top. So I'm going to have to do an episode where I mess with this and of course there's going to be a lot of pausing and stuff because I gotta figure this out. Like there was, there's a video that shows you what it, all it can do, but I like forgot what it can do. So, spring. Other 
your screen. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, this is nice. I really like this thing and I will be messing with it a lot more. I got the aluminum version, just so you guys know. Oh, and um, let me tell you the size, just in case you guys are interested. Oh no, get back here. Cause I'm gonna mess with this more. Um, so the how do I do this? Um, <laughs> so there are three millimeter balls that go on the springs. Three millimeter, three millimeter balls. So I wonder. I wonder. Let's try. Silicon nitride. That sounds nice. What about Teflon, though? Does it sound like like can't make the noise? <laughs> like some kind of weird purr. Sounds weird. I 
I like how fast and easy it is to change out. Like, whatever. Oh, it just took the spring. Give that back. No, give that back. You. Oh my god. You stay there. These magnets, man. How do they work? <laughs> if you get that reference, please don't kill me. All right, put that back the way I found it. All right, it's louder with the, uh, it is definitely louder with the ceramic balls as opposed to the Teflon. Oh yeah, and the size of the other ones is about 3.8 or, I don't know, is that going to be 4? 3.8, 3.9. It's always off by a little bit. Magnets are the same. 3.9, so that might be four, four millimeters. Four millimeter balls for the uh, magnet portion. All right, go. get out, get out of here. All right, guys, this has been a long video, um, and I should end it here. <laughs> um, if you guys know what these are for, let me know, because they are, they are too big. They're six millimeter balls, and I just don't know where they go. So yeah, this is the Gao Studio Magnetic Master 2.0, and I think it's awesome for a little haptic coin that you can just like... Uh, configure in so many different ways. I like barely scratch the surface of these configurations, and um, I have to do another video of the different configurations once I figure out how to do them. So yeah, there will be another one. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think of this. Um, yeah. And uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Until next time. Later.